And so we're recording now. Um, so thank you everybody for joining us. Um, we have changed, as you can see, our Soup and Bannock um, date from Wednesday to Thursdays at one. Um, so our guest today is Alexandra White Duck and she is um, with the NEB project. So I'm gonna open the floor to her um, and let her um, tell us about what it is that they're, they're, they've got going on right now. Awesome, thank you so much, Tag. Um, so I am Alexandra White Duck. I'm from Kitigan ZB Anishinaabeg. Um, I'm part of the NEB project that's with Enactus U Ottawa. Um, I am currently holding the position of uh, engineering slash science project coordinator. Um, so my job is to do the research, um, the science workshops uh, with the help of my team. Um, so what's really cool about NIBI is that we are trying to bring awareness to the water crisis in Indigenous communities across Canada. Um, so we're student-based. We're still very small. Um, NIBI, I think, was created last year, uh, and I joined the team last semester. So we're fairly new. We're still getting the hang of things. Um, but we do have a few workshops going on and we're working on a few to come in the future. Um, so this weekend, we're happy to announce that we have a cooking and conversation with Chef Malu. So our chef, her name is Marlene Hale um, and the event will be taking place on February 6th, which is Saturday at 3 p.m. Eastern time. Um, so what we're going to be doing is um, she will be teaching us how to make bannock, a certain type of bannock. It's, it's fairly uh, new, I've never made it. Um, and we will be talking about the water crisis. So what's really cool is that Marlene Hale is an indigenous chef from Wet'suwet'en Nation. So she will be talking to us about the water crisis happening there right now, especially uh, with the pipeline project. Um, so she developed a passion for cooking growing up in her community. Um, in addition to running a catering business that specializes in West Coast First Nation cuisine, she teaches cooking classes and gives back to the native community by speaking to First Nation organizations on subjects such as childhood obesity and diabetes. Um, we are super honored to have her join our youth group as a special guest speaker to discuss her spectacular perspective on the boil water advisories while teaching us how to bake the delicious delicacy of bannock. Um, so that's our youth group happening this weekend. Um, we have a few coming up. We're trying to organize mostly with schools as of right now. Um, but if you have any ideas that we can use, um, please send them my way. Um, we're really trying to get closer to the Indigenous Centre to see if we can offer um, maybe a workshop at some point or another. Um, so if anybody has any questions, I don't mind answering to them as best as I can. Thank you. That is, sounds amazing. Um, now, when you say you're, you're working closely with schools right now, do you mean like post-secondary schools or are you trying to more um, like engage with um, public school kind of um, primary age? Um, so we're trying to um, target youth in general, so primary and high school. Um, so we have a few base workshops that we um, kind of modify depending on the group that we have. Um, also, depending on what the staff uh, want to hear more of. So we're very accommodating to um, what they specifically want to learn. So sort of working with uh, maybe perhaps their Indigenous education curriculum um, or whatever it is that they're trying to incorporate into their classrooms. Um, that sounds awesome. And I think we... I can't speak for the center entirely, but I'm sure there's definitely um, some intense in interest in creating or at least helping to facilitate that workshop. Um, so we'll definitely um, be in touch um, about that for sure. Um, you know, we've always got the open line of communication going. So um, reach out. We're definitely looking to have some workshops started. So 
um, I would I would be happy on bringing that forward to the team um, for for a later date. Um, does anybody else have anything they'd like to ask? Oh, do you have any socials? Do you want to drop that into the chat? If you yes, absolutely. Okay, let me just go and grab them. No problem. Okay, so on Instagram, very simple, we're just Project Nibi. Um, you can find the links to sign up to the, uh, to the workshop for this weekend. Um, I'll also put the link in the chat to sign up. It's uh, through Eventbrite, I'm pretty sure. Right, and then so you auto indigenous we reposted on our story, I think it was um, the event bright link for that so if anyone's having trouble accessing that link for whatever reason we you can just hop on to you auto indigenous um, on Instagram and then we've got that posted. Um, so you can just check out their socials um, through us if for whatever reason that link doesn't work. Um, so yeah you auto indigenous that's the handle um, for Instagram and also for our Twitter. So if you haven't already, um, go ahead and give us those follows. We like to, on top of sending out emails, um, we definitely like to use our socials to get that information and share whatever great initiatives are going on um, at the university. And NIMI project is based out of University of Ottawa or is it something separate? It's based out of University of Ottawa. So we get some funding from them. Uh, we also get support from um, the science faculty for uh, research and um, experiments and whatnot. And have you guys like reached out to the government? Like, are there grants for um, your your project uh, that you're aware of? Um, I know that we received a grant. I'm not sure which um, that is business that takes care of that. Um, I know that we're going to be working with the AFN very closely soon. Um, so we're fairly new, as I said, so we're still trying to find the funding um, where we can uh, get it. For sure. Well, if there's any way we can help, we definitely will. Just send them our way. Um, and thank you so much for um, signing on um, and letting everybody know what's, um, what's happening. What's, what's the word? <laughs> um, so if anyone has any questions for Alexandra, please feel free to um, just sign on, like use your voice, um, raise a hand. Um, if not, um, I'm, I'll probably stop recording and we can just, you know, chill out. <laughs> no, don't stop recording. No, okay, okay, I will not. <laughs> yeah, um, so hey everyone, I'm Victoria. I feel like everyone on this call knows me. Um, so Quay, I have a couple of things. So just, if you're not on kind of like a device that can do the reaction thing, like a thumbs up, um it's totally fine but i have a couple of questions i guess i wanted to run by people in soup and bannock because it's also just like a chill time where we can just chat um we have invite invited people such as alex um so i kind of wanted to know if thursdays at one is a better time than wednesdays at noon it seems like we have a lot more people today than we ever had on wednesdays so I feel, yeah, thumbs up. Can we do reactions or hearts or whatever you want? Um, oh, thanks, May. Thanks, Josh. Yeah, awesome. Cool. Ooh. Yeah, I think it works a lot better for some people and some newer people that that like we know of but might not have made it to Soup and Bannock before. So I think that's super cool. Um, so Thursdays at 1, cool. We're going to keep doing it Thursdays at 1. Um, and then... If you have any ideas of like who you want to hear from, we can invite elders from your community, community members from you or you, if you have something cool that you want to share. Um, or I know there's a lot of members on the ISA here. So maybe that's like something that we can talk about later or next week or whatever. Um, I think some things I want to do in another emoji time, another emoji question is 
if we do like events or workshops, would we rather them in the evening? Yeah, in the evening? Okay, and not too late, obviously. Okay, so evening, okay. So nothing really during, um, so nothing really during the day because we all have classes, right? So, okay, that's perfect. And so for Soup and Bannock, we always do gift cards and we send them to the emails, but I know that Uber Eats sometimes can pose like a lot of barriers depending if you have it. Like I know Tag doesn't get Uber Eats where she's from um, or where she lives, not where she's from, but also <laughs> where she's from because we don't get Uber Eats in KC. Um, so I'm wondering if there's maybe something that we can change it to or do people generally, cause like, okay, so back it up Vic. So I do buy everyone Uber Eats, but for some people that like are back home on the res, I'll do Starbucks, Tim Hortons, something like that, that's more accessible. Um, so I'm wondering um, if we like Uber Eats with the alternative of people that don't have it. Are we cool with that? I was even thinking like maybe Instacart or something like that. Cause sometimes, you know, like my yeah. bubble tea is not, you know, I probably, I need like potatoes or something. Uh, <laughs> Is, would Instacart be interesting to um to to students? Uber Eats says Beth. Do we like in I don't even know what Instacart is, but I'm down. They do your grocery for shopping for you. Yeah. Wow. And then they bring it to your house like Uber. So I mean that's something that I know my sister in the city uses often and she really appreciates it. And she's also a student. Um so I was just wondering. So do I think maybe, in KZ? Uh, no, in the city. Oh. I don't know if they do it in KZ though. I mean, I'm sh I'm literally sure if somebody had a car and like signed up for Instacart, like you could be the the Instacart shopper <laughs> at Maxi. <laughs> yeah. Um. So we have we can do that. I think. We'll just do Uber Eats like on Instagram. Like we'll tell people we're doing Uber Eats because we do Uber Eats. But if like you don't have Uber Eats in your location, like just send me like a food related thing that you want and I'll send you a gift card. With that being said, if you can, can you put your email um, in the chat? And then you could just DM me or if you don't care if anyone sees your email, it doesn't matter, but you can send me your email. I have all your emails, but I don't feel like looking at all of them in the master list. Um, so if you can send me the email in this chat and I'll send your Uber Eats gift card. If you don't have Uber Eats, let me know if there's like a Timmy's, a Starbucks or whatever you want. I think it's like $20. We send her $25, I forget. Um, okay. some. Fun updates. Yes. So some fun, fun updates. So we have this app now called Strava. Strava, Strava. Yeah. Strava. I see tags mouth moving. Strava. I don't know. Strava. It's super cool. Um, so if you want to download it, it's a way for all of us as Indigenous people in our community at Uwadawa to connect together. So we want to give some cool incentives. We don't know what it's gonna look like yet, but we're all gonna connect on the app together. So if you go for a walk, if you go for a jog, if you go for a bike ride, snowshoe, if you go trap line, like if you go on your trap line, whatever, you, it's free, it's all free. And we can all connect. We can like share pictures of our walk together, like a sunset thing. Um, so I, I can post, I could send an email out with more information about that. But if you're really into wanting to get outdoors more or even an at-home workout and you want to share it and keep each other like motivated without being on a Zoom, it's super, super fun. Um, so we started that. We'll have to send out more details, but we did create like a U Ottawa specific one. Um, so it'll, yeah. So I have my little thing. I've done nothing this week. <laughs> and I'm not embarrassed by it, but I feel like if I see one of you people doing it, maybe I'll go for a walk. Maybe I'll go for a run. Um, so yeah, I feel like a lot of people have Strava and it's a good way to build community without the screen. And so I don't know how many of you are familiar with Smoke Signals, the movie, but we 
got the main actors to do a reunion for us on Tuesday. So we're working, they all said yes. So like Adam Beach, like Victor and Thomas, they're gonna be, it's for you Ottawa, it's for us. Like it's for indigenous students and your families, like totally cool. It's gonna be, you'll see it blasted everywhere. I'm gonna send you a thousand emails, don't worry. But it's on Tuesday the 9th from six to eight and on our Instagram and socials, yeah, via Zoom and everyone's welcome. I know there might be some like non-Indigenous people, you are more than welcome. This is literally for everyone, probably more gauged to like the Native people, but um, everyone's welcome. It's a super awesome cultural event. I think we're gonna enjoy and we get to say, hey, Victor, shamelessly over and over again. Um, so yeah, and we're gonna have cool door prizes, but that's my other question I wanted to ask everyone is what kind of door prizes would you like to see like online gift cards is probably better than me shipping things out because I find a lot of times they get shipped back to me because I either miss like a number or there's so many areas of miscommunication that can happen so like online yeah gift cards definitely work um so yeah, and then Tag mentioned, we're gonna have our poster out by the end of the day today. And ISA's on here. We haven't really told ISA, but we, Tag and I are gonna talk to Victoria after. She kind of like takes care of the socials. Um, and we're hoping that we can do like a pre-screening. So if you've never watched Smoke Signals. Like myself. Have, yeah, I don't know what's up with that. Um, then we're gonna have like a movie night tomorrow night. Um, and we're gonna have, um, like Cineplex gift cards where you can order popcorn to your house and stuff like that if you're if available so what time to, what time tomorrow I don't know we're gonna talk about that um you could you can all decide the time um probably seven eight is that too late it's Friday night. that works for me I'm down yeah how about everyone everyone else eight let's if do eight just, if you eight want it if everyone else wants it eight o'clock sounds good and invite your friends and family. Honestly, it's such a classic movie. Like it's amazing. Eight is great. I'm seeing a lot for eight. It's available yes, for Megan. Eight. That's amazing. Um, Megan, would I actually, um, would we be able to pick your brain after about how to, well, we know how to access it from last week, like sign in with your student email and the password. Yeah. Um, but like, how can we screen share? Would we just do it through Zoom? So I just put the link in oh my God, you're amazing. the record in the, in the catalog. So under like where it says view online, it's through criterion on demand. Okay. And you, you just log in um, with your uh, account and then so there's an option to play it with audio or audio with English subtitles. So yeah, I guess if you just did a screen share. Okay, that'd be perfect. Yeah, so we can do that. We can all hang out, laugh, or you you have the link and you could watch it by yourself. But I think it'd be really cool to like have a group of us watch the movie. Um, I don't like both probably gonna watch the movie tomorrow night. Like, maybe never watched it. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much all. Like, oh, one more thing. Do we use Twitter? Like, is there a thumbs down emoji? <laughs> <laughs> Let, I got a shock face. Oh wait, no, there's a no. Oh, there's a no. Okay. There we go. So, no. no. A resounding no. no from our participants. <laughs> I would say maybe that. some of us do. Like I have a Twitter. I want to start using it more, but like I don't I don't know. I like too much social media to like add on another social media. <laughs> Yeah, I've tried yeah. Twitter literally three separate times and each time I'll be active for a week and you'll know, like you can see through my feed where I'll post and then I just like disappear for a year and a half. And then I come back and do the same thing. I think I've given up on Twitter. Um, but I know I know some people really enjoy it, uh, especially a lot of our like faculty members um, within the Institute. Um, so that's always fun to see your profs tweet. <laughs> Yeah, um, a lot of the faculty go on because like we had a meeting about the smoke signals thing and they're like, oh, we're going to blast it on Twitter. And I was like, are we, though? Are we? <laughs> but I mean, it hits a whole different demographic. Like, I feel like a lot of us use Instagram and Facebook. 
mostly Instagram, I feel. Yeah. Like for me at least. I don't I don't know. Um, but I don't know. I feel like Twitter might hit more like the academics, like the older academics. I, I feel like calling Me- Megan, do you, I, I don't know. I feel like, do you have Twitter? I have not used Twitter since like 2014, oh but God. I know it's very popular like amongst the other library staff, but I just, I never really got into Twitter and I like Instagram better. So, but it's like a lot of people in like library world do use uh, Twitter though. I, f- I feel like everyone that works for UOttawa is Twitter. Like yeah. everyone that I work with is like, oh, did you see on Twitter? I'm like, I, 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 I did not. I'm not gonna lie. Please screenshot because I'm not. Gonna. They were talking about like this. Um, they obviously you know who they is. Whatever. It's recording. Okay, maybe we should stop recording. I actually before we stop recording, I want to gossip. It's Susan <laughs> Bannock, guys. Okay, I before I stop recording, um, Megan, if you could quickly introduce yourself. I know there's a lot of people on the call here. Um, that are new to Soup and Bannock maybe. Um, so if you could kind of maybe just quickly introduce yourself, um, that would be amazing. Yeah, no problem. So um, my name is Megan McMeekin. I'm a librarian at the Ottawa U Library. And uh, so last winter I had started with a colleague doing um, drop-ins to the in-person um, Soup and Bannock on Wednesdays in case anyone had any library related questions. So this semester, Myself and a, a colleague will be doing a uh, virtual um, kind of drop in. So, if anyone during the course of the, the meeting has any questions for me, feel free to send me a message, say it out loud or in the chat, whatever you want, and I can look into things for you. Um, my colleague and I also were had some planned sort of um, sessions on certain topics that we could go over, like short, because Victoria had said, like, kind of less than. 10 minute kind of topics. So one of them that we thought um, if we can do it next week, um, she said she could do one sort of like an introduction to Omni, which is our like search tool for the library. So I know some people had questions about that last week. So um, Victoria, you can always let me know too if that works for next week or a different date um, to kind of go over stuff. And then um, like research topics, like uh, doing research databases, uh, citations, all that kind of thing. So whatever whatever you will have an interest in learning more about, just let us know. Yeah, and like like you saw, Megan came up with a link for, for smoke signals in literally two seconds, and it would take me light years to do that. <laughs> so I wish I would have known so many of the things that Megan has been saying when I was a newer student. Um, but yeah, thanks, Megan. No worries. Oh, Widow Kadadawin. Um, so Wido Kodadawin is like a long friggin' Anishinaabe word, um, but essentially it's a group that um, we just kind of do this, like we talk about questions like what do we want to see, what do we want to learn, um, how can we support each other going through school, whether we're undergraduate, whether we're graduate. I can't stop staring at my bun, guys, it's really distracting. Um, but uh, yeah, so I think if it's cool with, the, with everyone, maybe we can mesh soup and bannock with Wido Kadadawin. It just makes sense because we're all hanging out. We're all like enjoying our gift cards at some point um, and hanging. Yeah, it's it's really just to direct the center and the ISA too that are online to, to, to tell us like, what, what do you want to see? Like what, you know, like what, I'm not articulating myself right, um, but what can we do to make our lives better and how do we feel more of a community away from home? I, I know a lot of us might be at home, but still like we're not connected as normal, um, like as normal times. Um, I also wanted to point out that a lot of our events are like in English. I know some of us are bilingual or just French. And so I think that's something we need to keep in mind is making events that are maybe bilingual or French too. Um, so if any of the ISA members like want to keep that in mind too, um, if you guys want to do events or something, that'd be super cool. Like to have something bilingual or let's get Samyan yeah. on. Anybody know Samyan? He's like a French rapper. He's like really big in the Francophone community. Um, and like two years ago, um, like 
the francophone group at U of O hosted. Like he had like a um like a little mini concert and he came to um that little cafe outside of uh, the library. Um, and there was like a really big turnout, um, but they had like failed to mention like the indigenous um, community. Um, so it was all kind of just like a francophone community. Whereas he's like a specifically like indigenous, like Anishinaabe um, man from, I think it's like a bit of B, don't, don't quote me. Um, but like that had a big turnout for the francophone community. So that's something like, I don't know if you guys like rap, poetry or whatever, but like, I really love him. Um, my husband's like francophone and he's like, he stands. Is that the term? Stands? He loves Samyan. Um, just something to, just to throw out there. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. We're going to have to head out now because we're just getting to Wagoto now for my appointment. So, okay. We'll okay. say goodbye for now. And it was nice talking to you guys. We had fun. Bye, Beth. Bye. <laughs> There you go. I know there's a few people too that are on the ISA. If you guys want to introduce yourself to like the rest of us, maybe. Um, yeah. Hello. <laughs> Hi everyone. I'm Maya. A lot of people call me May. Um, I'm the community coordinator. Um, I am also a member of Muscree First Nation and I grew up um, in Kirkland Lake, a small town in Northern Ontario, most people prob probably don't know of, but um, it's nice to be here and I'm actually able to attend it this week. <laughs> I usually have a lab during this time, but it's really nice to see everyone. Hey all, I'm uh, Joshua Houtla, Chippewas of Newas. I am the, the Director of University Affairs for the ISA. And so I handle all uh, bureaucratic issues that arise and if you have any questions or comments I'm more than happy to assist if you're interested in the ISA. Hello excuse my look I had an interview this morning and I just finished getting like unmade up from that so that's where I'm at. Um, my name is Victoria I'm the social events coordinator um, so similarly if, if anybody like ever wants to see anything um, or like do anything like has any specific ideas like always reach out to me like my dms are always open. You guys have um, your ISA Gmail hooked up yet? I didn't know we had ISA. You have an email account? That's Boom. wonderful. There's your email account. Yo, it's in the group chat. Uh, the password for that's in the group chat. Yeah, there's that's the email for the ISA for anyone um, who like has an idea. Like even with Nabi, Alex, if you want email ISA. Like for workshops like and i wanted to say that too like you don't need to be a part of you don't need to be like a work study you don't need to be hired by the center you don't need to be a part of isa to come up with an idea and host a workshop like we'll always help you to do anything you want to do i know anything. that we're gonna have to send out like a, a professional proposal um so you guys should see that in your email in the next two three weeks Perfect. Um, uh, we're still working on a few workshops, but we'll probably have like a few suggestive workshops that you guys can pick out of. I guess like one thing I would suggest for maybe us, I would say like any student that kind of wants to do like a workshop or an event, connect it with a course or a faculty. So with Nibi, like I'm sure you guys already done this. So with a workshop, let's say for smoke signals, we would probably want to go to the visual arts or something in theater, not visual arts, theater, sorry, um, and tie it in with like a class because then they can incorporate like a decolonizing or like an indigenization aspect to that, right? And they can invite their whole class and they would count it as time in class, like a synchronous class to smoke signals reunion or something like Nabi, like water project, do like look at faculty of sciences look at like engineering even um anything that's like innovative in that way um and ISA like I feel 
like we're indigenous, but we're so much more than that. You know, like we are so connected to absolutely everything that the university offers. Um, and that's one thing like I want to stress too, is it's so interesting. Like I was thinking about, yeah, can you run that up? Um, I was thinking about this too. Like everyone thinks that an indigenous prof is like a part of faculty of arts indigenous studies when they could be like a chemistry teacher, they can be like a biology teacher, but they just are indigenous, like their identity is indigenous, right? So I, I don't know. I think that's something like I forget about as an employee because I work for indigenous affairs, everything's indigenous, but it's not like that all the time, right? Like, I don't know, I'm just shooting the shit now. So I have some hot gossip for everyone. Stop recording tag, I'm kidding. <laughs> Um, so if there's any official business that you'd like, or not official business, I'm just going to stop recording and then we can chat. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs>